that leadeth in the captivity shall go. He that leadeth in the captivity ain't so bro. He that leadeth in the captivity shall go. He that leadeth in the captivity ain't so bro. He that leadeth in the captivity shall go. He that leadeth in the captivity ain't so bro. He that leadeth in the captivity shall go. He that leadeth in the captivity. On the scene, sword in my hand, going at they neck, not a carnal man. See, I done conform my mind, had to transform. Now I'm in the booth, about to give a storm. Swine say a 29 and 6, the most I bring it thunder. Coming from the side, and this wine in the wonder. These signs on me, do the rum at 28, 46. They always trying to climb on me. He curses that he is, I'm about to give each all the beer songs 58 and 3. It's a lie, everything they come out. Us to the white man, you understand? That's our enemy. Look, you gotta understand in America when you see the white man, look at the news. Don't he hate us? If you gotta kill somebody else just for having a phone in their hand, don't you know that they hate you? Bring it out. So, we're trying to show you to never trust your enemy and Kids. love love your own people. That's right. Even though our own people they be mad at us, even though our own people treat us wrong, that's why you gotta treat them right. right. You gotta treat your brother. This your cousin or your brother? Your cousin? You gotta treat your cousin right. And not only that, you gotta treat other brothers that look just like you right, the people of your nation. That's right. We gotta treat each other godly in this Bible. Right. That's what we're trying to show you, young man. Give me that in Psalms. Hold this, give me that in Psalms. Psalms 119, Bring it up. verse 60. It up. The Lord spoke about you, young man. The Lord spoke about you, young man, and we're gonna show you. How do, what does God want you to do? We're gonna show you in this Bible. Let's go. Psalms. Psalms chapter 119, verse 60. Check this out. I made haste. He did what? I made haste the one says, and delayed not to keep hold on real quick before we do this read verse 9 let's go psalm chapter 119 and verse 9 we, listen to this young man come on work with all so a young man shall i what young man that's you how old are you 30 uh 13 13 how old are you young man how old are you young man Okay, 40, well, guess what? You are young, no, listen, you are a young man in the eyesight of God. That's because right. when you come back to God and you be born again, you a newborn baby. That's right. When you come to this knowledge of you knowing that you Israel right. and the keeping the commandments, you're going to be born again in this life that you live right now. You understand me, brother? Come on. Hey, listen, don't cry, brother. This is your salvation. Right. Stop up them tears, man, and be strong. Come here, no, come here, come here, come here. Come here, come here, brother. No, 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 he all right, he all right. Lead him over there. Oh, come here real quick. Come here real quick. Come here real quick, brother. You're going to be all right. He all right. He all right. He all right. Talk to him and build him up, brothers. Build him up real quick. Here we go. Young man, read on. Read. Listen to God's word. You happy, brother. All right? Stay happy. Listen. Stay right here and listen. Listen. Listen to God. Listen to God. Don't move. Here we go. Young man, what? Wherewithal shall a young man cleanse his way wherewithal shall a young man cleanse his ways because in america we was taught the wrong ways right. we was taught christmas we was taught sports right. Right. we was taught that everybody in america is one people but guess what you better than a white man you not equal to the white man god said that you're his son come on by taking heed listen how you clean how a young man cleanse his way anthony is doing what by taking heed, you gotta listen, take heed to what? The two or 
according to thy word. You got to take heed to God's word. That's, right. That's how you cleanse your way of the dope. Right. If you want to cleanse your spirit of the dope corner, of the drug, of the trap, guess what? You got to cleanse your way and keep God's commandments. If you want to get rid of the prostitution and the pimping and the rapes amongst your community, you got to cleanse your way and keep God's word. Read, read that verse again. Come on. Wherewith all shall a young man cleanse his way? How shall you cleanse your ways of America? How you gonna get rid of being punished here in America? Bring it out. Because it's just a matter of time before the police pull you over and try to gunshot you down That's right. with the power of their sword, their gun. Come out. on, real quick. By taking heed. You gotta do what? Taking heed. Young man, listen. You gotta do what, Anthony? Come on. By taking heed. Uh -huh. They're too according to thy word. Whenever you see men that look just like us teaching God's commandments, that you the Israelites and the faith of Christ, that he's a black man, you better listen to him. You understand? You better listen to him because what they're trying to show you is that you, if you keep God's commandments, you're going to receive the kingdom of heaven. You understand? Do you want to get the kingdom of heaven? I'm going to show you how to get to the kingdom of heaven. All right? Do you, do you eat pork? You eat pork? God said, since you're royalty, you're not supposed to eat the chitlins. You ain't supposed to eat the, 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 the pig feet, the pig ear, the hog maws. You ain't supposed to eat that. Why? Because you're royalty. Peasants eat that stuff. The white man eat that stuff. You don't eat that. You eat chicken and beef. I'm going to get you the law. What God, God said, by taking heed to his word. Do you, do you love God? If you love him, keep his commandments. Let's get the law real quick. We're going to show you how to cleanse your way. Come on. This word right here is for you so-called blacks, Hispanics, and Native Indians. That's right. We are trying to get you sisters back to thinking that you are royalty on earth. Right. You are the princesses of this Bible. Right. You brothers, you the king of this earth. You right. understand? Come on, read this real quick. Leviticus 11, verse 7. And the swan. And the what? The swan. The swan is an old ancient name for the pig. You understand? The swan. Right. Read. Come on. So he divides the hoof. Now I was talking about how the pig look. Though it divide the hoof, read on. And be cloven footed. And be cloven footed, read. Yet he cheweth not the cud. You ever see where the cow eat? The cow eats vegetation. Alright? This is God is showing you why you should not eat the pork. Alright? The pig. Because like the cow eats the cud, it eats grass and vegetation. What does a pig eat on a farm? The slop of all the other animals. Right, right. And by that, I mean the boo-boo. The filth, the defecation of the other animals on the field. It's an unclean animal. So why would you eat an animal that eats feces? You understand what I'm saying? It's a roach of the farm. Right. You get me? Read on, come on. Yet he cheweth not the cud. The Lord said, yet he cheweth not the cud. Come on, read on faster, come on. He is unclean to you. The Lord said, y'all heard that? What did it say? Come on, repeat it back. He is unclean to you. So what does unclean to you mean? What does that mean? Is it good or bad for you? Bad. Bad. Is it good or bad for you? If you say it's unclean, is it good or bad? Right. Bad. So it said, the pig, the swine, is unclean to you. Royalty don't eat what all the other common people eat. That's, That's right. right. You are God's heritage. Right. You Listen, I'm talking about, look at the, look at the tree real quick. Look at the tree. tree. Now look up at the, look at by the clouds. Look at the sky before that. At nighttime, what you see in the sky? Stars and stuff, right? Sometimes you see the moon. Guess who created that? Our God. Our God created that, as well as creating us. Our power created all the stuff that we see today. Don't you know that he knows what's good and bad for you? The Lord said, what about this? Three. He, he is unclean to you. The Lord said, the pig, even though I created it, is unclean to you to what? Of the flesh shall ye not eat. You're not supposed to be eating bacon. You understand what it's saying? Right. It says, you of the flesh you shall not eat. When you go into the market stores, what do they serve you? What do they try to get you to buy? The pork chops. That's right. So God said it's a holy commandment that you do not eat yes, the pig. That's right. That's right. These are the simple steps on how to show God that you love him. Right. Do you love God? Yeah. Guess what? If you love God, keep his commandments. Right. And he gonna love you. I'm gonna right. tell you straight, and I'm telling you this out of love for you. God don't love you how you living right now. You understand? Right. As a young man in this American society right now. You understand? You're living the ways of a slave, of a slave master, but you're not a slave. Give me, hold what you got. Give me Jeremiah, chapter 2, verse 12. Israel is a home, is Israel a homeborn slave. The Lord gonna ask his people, did I create you to be slaves? Do you think in America we was made to be slaves by God? 
No. You better say no. No, nah, brother. We wasn't made to be slaves. So that's what God said about it. You are royalty. That's, that's right. right. Every so-called black, Hispanic, and Native Indian on this earth, they are royalty. Right. Right. And those that are scattered in the places of Africa and the islands. We are, oh, we are over this whole world. That's right. And we're trying to show our people slowly but surely that you are God's people. Let's go real quick. Come on. Jeremiah 2, 14. Is Israel a servant? The Lord said what? From the top? Come on. Is, is Israel a servant? Listen, brother. Was you made to be a servant in America? Was God's purpose right here? It's, wait. Let me get that on slavery real quick. Here we go. Here we go. Here we go. This right here is slavery. Show that around real quick. Was this the purpose of why God made the black man to be a slave? Was he supposed to be a slave? Ask yourself, is this our purpose? If you call yourself an American in America, you saying that you a servant to the white man. We are not Americans. We as a people are the Israelites. The Lord said what? Is Israel a servant? Is you a, are you a servant? Read. Is he a home-born slave? Are you supposed to be a home-born slave? Because the land that you live in, they say that's where you're from, right? When we was, you as the children of the slave trade, right? You have the descent of the slaves. Y'all was born in America. Was you born to be a slave? The answer to the question is no. No. That's why he's asking the question. Is Israel a servant? Are you a home-born slave? Read on, come on. Why is he spoiled? Why are you destroyed? Why are you spoiled? You know how you spoiled? Because our people, I keep going to it, drugs. Our people are stuck in drugs. Some of our sisters are stuck in prostitution. Some of our women are pregnant at the age of 16 in their parents' house. Listen, it's a statistic in this land where it says young men that's 13 won't live to the age of 21. Why? Because of how society is and treats you. And it's real bad right now. So why are these things happening to us in the community? For us to stop selling weed. Right. For us to stop trying to be like the entertainers and the rappers. Your life wasn't made to be an entertainer to this society. Right. Right. To be a football player. Right. Yeah, you get money. And some of the football players, they pay and take care of their families. But it's the ways of the customs of the white man. Right. Right. The white man give them, look, look what happening to them people right now, our brothers. That's kneeling. They kneeling be, on the football field. Y'all know what's going on, right? Why are they kneeling? Give me a... Uh, 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 Zechariah chapter 11, I think it's verse 13. Uh, you know what I want, right? Uh, them that possess us. Yeah, 11 and 5. Here we go. I'm going to show you why them men, why those men are, uh, uh, are kneeling down on their knees when the, when the Pledge of Allegiance come out. Why are they kneeling? Because them football players, even though the white man paying them, they, they realize something about the other people, about their own people. Read that verse. You got that? Zechariah 11 and 5. Let's go. Come on. Zechariah 11 verse 5. Who's possessor? Who are our possessors? Who possessed us in slavery? Who, look, 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 read this real quick. I may need another reader, man. I may need another reader. Let me get another reader on this side real quick. Give me Deuteronomy 28 verse 68. I'm going to show y'all something real quick. Uh, let me get a brother real quick. If you don't mind, hold this sign up. See, what we're doing is, okay, that brother going to do it. I just want you to sit and just watch, all right? Listen to God. Here we go. Give me Deuteronomy 28, verse 68. I'm going to show you something. It says possesses, right? Possesses. Read this verse. Come on. Here's the book of Deuteronomy, chapter 28 and verse 68. And the Lord shall bring thee unto Egypt. The Lord said he's going to bring us into Egypt. The word Egypt means slavery. He was going to bring all your forefathers into slavery. How? Into Egypt uh -huh. again with ships. Look at this real quick. Check this out. Let me get one more brother if you're available. If you can, okay, he can do it. Let, let, how do we get over here? You said earlier. Who said boats earlier? Me. You said boats, right? What's your name, bro? Quaid. Huh? Jaquavian. Jaquavian. Anthony. And what else? What's, what's your name? Antonio. Uh, Antonio. Antonio. Okay. Antonio, Anthony, and what? Jaquavian. Jaquavian. Okay. Here we go. Here we go. How do we get over here in America? Slave ships. Look, we was over here. We, we, look, 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 look real quick, pay attention. This is where we came from. This is Israel, all right? This right here is where we ended up, right? And then the white man came here on these ships and brought us over here. Didn't that happen to us? Yeah. Come on, the Lord said what? And the Lord shall bring thee into Egypt again with ships. The Lord said, if you break my commandments, I'm going to bring you into slavery. How? With ships. With cargo slave ships. You was right. 
You was right. He was right. You was right. Look. Yeah, he was right. How did we get over here? We didn't fly over here because there weren't no planes back then. We didn't swim because we probably died. Sharks would eat us up. We got over here on slave ships, boat, right. cargo slave ships. Right. Now, who did that happen to? Black. Yeah. So who is it talking about right here in the Bible? Okay. So what we're trying to tell you is who it's happened to in the Bible is the Israelites. That's, That's your real nationality. That's so I'm going to ask you again. Who did it happen to? The Israelites. Oh, the Israelites, right? So didn't that happen to you? What would that make you? <laughs> Say it. What would that make you? What would that make you? Huh? No, no, you just said it earlier. If this happened to the Israelites and it happened to you, who are you? Israelites. Say it again. Israelites. Who am I? Israelite. Who am I? Israelite. Who am I? Israelite. What's your true nationality, brother? Israelite. Listen, right. we're not trying to get y'all into no daggone coat or nothing like that. We trying to show you in these last days, God gonna show you that you not no Negro, you not no African, you not no American. That's right. You are the true people of the Bible. That's right. But you gotta act like it. You have to act like it. That's your true God-given nationality. You make up everything that happened in this Bible, in this book. Read this again. So, there were some people that brought us over here. Who was that nation of people? Give me verse, give me verse uh, 30, uh, 40, 48, 48. Who was those people? Who was those people that brought us over here on chains? Look at this real quick. You know what? Go back to Deuteronomy 28, verse 68. I'm gonna show y'all something. Here we go. Because what I gotta do is, what I gotta do, I gotta show y'all who this happened to right here so you can get that it happened to you. Like you just said, right? Slave ships happened to who? The black. Right. The so-called blacks, right? Yeah. Who are what in this Bible? The Israelites, right? So what would that make you? The Israelites, right? Yeah. So let's see what else happened to the Israelites. 68, come on, read on down a little further. By the way whereof I spake unto thee, uh -huh. thou shalt see it no more again. The Lord said, pay attention real quick. Pay attention, pay attention, pay attention. Go, what, what the one with the slave ships? Um, the Lord, the, the Bible just said, by the way whereof I spake unto thee. Moses is speaking to your forefathers, your ancient granddaddies and grandmamas. He said, exactly how it's going to happen is how it's going to happen. He said, by the way whereof I speak unto thee, read that part again. By the way whereof I speak unto thee. Exactly how I'm saying it's going to happen is going to happen. Read on. Thou shalt see it no more again. Because on slave ships, we will be brought over here to here. You wasn't going to see your homeland, Jerusalem, again. He said, you ain't going to see your homeland again. Read on. And there ye shall be sold. Wait a minute, wait a minute. Pay attention real quick. Pay attention. Come on, come on, come on. Pay attention. Don't be distracted. All y'all, be pay attention. I'm trying to show y'all something really important. All right, Anthony, you hear me? It says, it says what, Read. And there ye shall be sold. It says, once you come from here, all the way over here, you're going to be what? Sold. Bring Give me up. the other picture real quick. See, John. What is this man doing to this man right here, to these people? Bring it up. Trying to sell him. Right. The Lord, we call it auction blocks. They probably don't even show that in school no more. You want to know why? Because now they know they let you read, right? And then they, start, they, they talk about this in history. But when you match what they let you do in reading in the history and in the Bible, you're going to start thinking, dang. That happened to me. Right, right. I'm the Israelites that they sold. Right. And guess what? When you know when you know that you're Israel, you become real dangerous to the white man. That's right. I'm telling you straight. Once you know who you are. See, now, yeah. the Arab man know who he is. Right. The white man know who he, he is. He wears, he wears dresses and blow the little tooth. The, 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 the Scottish people, you know what I'm saying? The Irish people. They know who they are, but we as a people don't know who we are. Right. Because when you know who you are, it's very dangerous to them. Because they know that the history in your forefathers, we ruled over every nation of the earth. Right. They don't want you to get back to that. But guess what? You're going to rule again. That's right. right. Do you want to continue to see your sister's being raped on the street corner by the white man or rape period or being shot down by the police do you want to continue to see that so guess what you got to do you got to come back in your rightful royal seat as an israelite the word israel means you are a prince of power with god you are a prince on earth you have power with god meaning anything that you ask for when you keep the commandments and the faith of christ you have power with your power in the heavens above you understand anything you ask for righteously you understand if your enemy is in your path and he's trying to kill you, the Lord will protect you. That's right. You got to show God a pattern of good works, though. Read that verse again. You're going to be what? Sold. Sold on what? Read. Unto your enemies. Unto your enemies. 
So what would that make this white man right here? The red man is your enemy. That's right. Right. Don't he act like it? Now listen, we're not teaching no hate. We too, we teaching the truth though. When they want to talk about 9-11 and who did it, they say that the Arabs, their enemy, bombed the, 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 the Twin Towers, right? Right. So some reason, when we talk about what happened in slavery, they say, no, nah, I don't talk about that. You talking racism. Bring it right? out. You know what's wrong with our people and the enemy? The enemy want to forget, and our people just don't want to hear it no more. Right. 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 These days, is, them days is over with. You gonna know who you are, brother. That's right. Whether you like it or receive it or not. That's right. God ain't coming back to save no African. Right. God coming back to save the Israelites. That's right. right. This right here is your what? Enemy. Enemy. Enemies, read on. For bond men and bond women. You is gonna be sold to your enemies for That's slave right man and slave Amen. woman. Because guess what? Your mama, your sister, if you have kids, your daughters will be sold as a slave woman. Right. Oh, yeah. Hold, give me Jer Joel chapter 3. I want you to read this now. So Bring hold on. Out. That means that this man was in possession to this man, right? Yeah, right huh? Read this verse. Yeah. Come on. Who's possessors? Zechariah 11 verse 5. All right. Who's possessors? Who are our possessors in America right now? Amen. I, I remember, I'm going back to the thought of why the men, the football players are kneeling, right? Yeah. You football understand? Player. Come on, read. Who, whose possessors do what? Slay them. The word slay means what? Slay. Huh? It's a slay. A, a, S-L-A-Y. What does slay mean? If I slay a goat, what does that mean? Whip, whip. No, no. Try a little harder. What's, what's after you whip and hurt somebody, what can you do next to them? Kill him, yeah, right? Yeah, yeah. Okay. The word slay the possessors, the enemy, the white man, mm -hmm. slays. He says, who's what? Whose possessors slay them. Listen, God's children are being slain by their possessors. Right. 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 Yeah. Those that call themselves Americans. Those that call themselves Africans because we're not Africans. There's a difference between the Africans that's in Africa right now and you. You, just because you dark like them or brown like them don't mean that you're the same people. Right. You understand? Look, you know the East Indian dude with the dot that be on his forehead? He dark skinned sometimes, right? But is he your brother? No. He just look different, right? right. You got some Arab people that look dark too, but they're not your people. Just because y'all had the same dark skin don't mean that y'all the same people. Right. Right. You understand? Teach. You come from the line of Abraham, Isaac, and Jacob. Right. Right. They don't come from that. Right. You're different. That means you got to act different. Right. This is what happened to those that come from Abraham, Isaac, and Israel. Our father. Our father is Israel. Look, whose possessors what? Slay them. Whose possessors killed them. What we being killed at? That's why the men are kneeling down. Because they get killed down on the street corners. My, uh, Trayvon Martin, I'm from Orlando, Florida. That happened right there in my city. When a young black man in a hoodie was walking from the store and another, another dude gunned him down and they justified that death. The young man looked just like you had a hoodie on in the dark. And, and at nighttime, they killed him. Why? Because of who he is. Uh, well, Eric Gardner, right, in New York, was strangled to death by a white man. Was it nothing done for it? Who it else, up. brothers? Who else? I'm here. Sandra Bland. Sandra Bland. Fernando Castell, a man was shot in front of his girlfriend right. and the kid in the back of the car right. was shot in the car by the police. Okay. Why is this happening? On camera. On camera. Why ain't they in jail? Why? Because they could care less about your body. Right. But you know what you got to do? You got to care about your spirit. That's right. right. You got to care about your people. Right. Because ain't nobody else going to do it. Right. While we sitting up here trying to be like the white man, they sitting up here hating you. And you, we, we loving the white man and we hating our own people. Right. God don't want you to live like that. You That's understand? Right. That's why we out here to show you right. who you truly are. It says, whose possessors, read, slay them and hold themselves not guilty. What did the Bible say? Not guilty. We getting killed in America and the white man is what? Not guilty. The white man hold himself not guilty That's of it. Right. Because it guess who made the court systems? Teach. The so-called white man. That's right. Guess who made the laws in America? Teach. The so-called white man. That's right. right. Guess who funds the, the prisons so in America? Right, the so-called white man. Right. That's when right. you get old in history, you can look it up right now. What is that? The 13th Amendment. Right. The 13th Amendment states that slavery is abolished except if a man calls a crime. Right. Who are the main ones in the jail systems? Bring it out. Black people. Perfect. So what I just said, the, the 13th Amendment means what? 
if you are incarcerated or in jail or criminalized as a criminal because they call us thugs, guess what? You're still a slave. Right. Slavery never ended. It That's just right. evolved. That's right. Right. They got a lot more crafty with slavery. Right. 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 That's why they set the drugs right there on the street right there because they know what the Negro going to do to it. Yeah. And then they send the white cops right to the community yeah. to keep you right back in jail to do the free labor in the, in the, in the slave system, right. in, the, in, the, in the prisons. You got to understand that everything that we live in in America is against us. It's against us. Y'all understand what I'm saying? So we trying to show you how to get that power back. Now, uh, what I had you keep reading this real quick. Come on. And hold themselves not guilty. They don't hold themselves guilty to what they do. That's why they don't have no judge sentence. Listen, and what is that? North, North of South Carolina, a white crazy boy walk into a black church and kill nine people. Bring it out. And they haven't shot him down yet. But yet, at nighttime, if they think that you have a gun in your hand but it's your cell phone, they murder you right there. Right. You got to understand that these people don't love you. Teach, Cap. We ain't teaching hate, it's the truth. Once you know that your enemy hates you and we got to love each other, that's when God going to start dealing with us again. That's right. That's right. But we ain't going to have to pick up no guns or fight. God going to fight our battles like right. how he used to in the last days. That's, that's right. right. So read on, come on. And they that sell them say, bless who sold us? Who sold us? The Bible the says, yeah, the enemy, mm -hmm. the white man. Good. It says, and they that sold them, they say what? They say, bless be the Lord. They say, bless be God. What do they say in America? May God bless America. And God we trust, right? Ooh. One nation under God. Bring it up. They don't hold themselves guilty to what they did. Right. So as your leaders that we showing you, we are your leaders. And we're here, to, we're here to show you how to think soberly and clearly. Give me time. This is a call to arm. Get ready for the 2018 Men's Conference. This year's Men's Conference. IUIC Men's Conference. Hey, listen, we got a Men's Conference coming up. A mandatory Men's Conference for the brothers to get edified, to ask questions. We're going to have the bishops, the captains, the elders on deck. Bishop may think, Bishop could not. The deacons, the captains, and the officers. In Memphis, Tennessee. In Memphis, Tennessee. 500 men strong. 500 men strong. 500 men strong. August 4th will be 500 men strong. 500. Yeah, 500 men strong. 500 <laughs> men strong. Hey, if you're not there, you ain't in the spirit. And I say this. IUIC turns boys into men. We believe that he's God. He, he controls everything. The black men, we are in captivity to this day. That's Why? Right. Because we broke God's command. In Memphis, Tennessee, let's go to war. Let's make history. Bishop Nathaniel, all the deacons will be there. The captains will be there. So it's important that you make it out there. With that, I say shalom. This has been approved by IUIC. Shalom. This is Bishop Nathaniel of Israel United in Christ. Please subscribe to our YouTube channels. Stay up to date with our latest events, music, and classroom lessons. IUIC plans to continue visiting different countries where this gospel has not been preached before. IUIC needs your help in pushing this truth. So join us, subscribe to our Instagram, Facebook, Twitter, and podcasts, and stay up to date with us. For more information, please visit www.israelunite.org.